Blessings, blessings. This is so great. Right now I'm taking my time to just walk in nature. As you see all these trees and nature doing its best right now. This is a park that I'm in. A local park, but it feels good to walk this little trail and just contemplate on life. And <sighs> Yeah. Observe. Be present in the moment. And this moment is awesome right now. Um, I'll eventually find a spot and, you know, rest in that spot and meditate a little bit. So the past couple days since Sunday, 12 a.m. Sunday, the first day of the week, I fast, dry fast, no food, no water. Now, I do this every Sunday for the past month and a half. I have been doing this on every Sunday, and I love it because it's giving my body a rest. It's giving my body time to regenerate itself and, and you know, take the necessary rest that it needs to repair itself from all the damage that I cause on it when I eat the wrong foods. But I don't eat the wrong foods often, so you know how it is, but... At the same time, I can detox. So I have been doing that. And this Sunday, the first day of the week, I chose to embark on uh, a long dry fast, an extended dry fast, I should say, of at least eight days. So today is Tuesday, and it's been since Sunday. And I've had dizzy spells, but overall, I'm awesome. I haven't been hungry, I've been thirsty. And it is easier. A lot of people I've seen on YouTube say, oh, it's, it's easier to do a dry fast because you're going to be thirsty. And it's, you'd rather be thirsty and can endure thirst than being hungry, which is very true. It is so easy for me to not want food right now. I do not want food. I'm cleaning out my system. The purpose of me doing this is um, not only spiritual, but it's also physical because I have some more detoxing to do and healing to do. Um, all the parasites and viruses that are in my body are going to be dismissed from my vessel. Something called autophagy. I'm not sure if I'm saying it properly. I'll put it up on the video. Uh, pretty much, your body goes into survival mode. And it's like, oh, she ain't feeding us no water or no no food, no solid food. So what are we going to do about this? We're going to eat all y'all unnecessaries. All y'all viruses, all y'all parasites and bad bacteria that's dwelling all in her system. Oh, y'all going first because we need to use y'all for fuel. We need to use y'all for the water that y'all have in y'all uh, and the lipids that y'all have in y'all cells. So we're going to eat y'all. They're like cannibals. Your cells like cannibals when you're in survival mode. So that's what's happening. I'm excreting a lot of um, urine. And the urine has a lot of sediments in it because my kidneys are filtering itself. And I'm feeling that. I'm like, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. I need that. I need this in my life right now. And uh, oh, that's a good spot. I think I might sit down over here while I saw the bench at. Anyways, I thought I'd shut up with y'all. <sighs> this journey has been just, it's different from all the other ones. Um, I have been consistent with the every first day of the week fasting. So sometimes I haven't dry fast. The past two Sundays I have dry fasted. And, you know, I was like, okay, that was a piece of cake. You know, after doing it for so long anyway, as far as fasting, but not dry fasting. But this is my third time dry fasting. Yeah, but this extended dry fast has been more easy than I thought it would, would be. Um, after these eight days, I'm going to continue to fast on Sundays, dry fast now and no longer water or what I was doing initially was no solids, no solid food. And I, I was also, so I was having green smoothies or green smoothie powder or whatever like that. And, uh, when I did it, I felt good, but not as good as I feel now because what happened was it it released that inflammation in my body. And we all have inflammation 
and uh, excess mucus. And that's what happened. And also, I, of course, I've been losing weight. A lot of people see it now. But it has taken me four months. Well, we're in the fourth month since January 1st. I have embarked on that, uh, what we call it, New Year's resolution. But I didn't call it a resolution. I called it a uh, new liberty, a lifestyle change, a permanent lifestyle change where I will be in control of my health, my vessel. I will heal my body no matter how long it takes for me to heal. I will have times where I will have binge eight, maybe one or two days because I didn't have control of my stress level or whatever. And there's been times where I just, I, I wasn't so perfect. But I upheld this new beginning, this new liberty, and this lifestyle change because that's ultimately what's always been in me. Well, it feels good to sit down. I've been taking it easy because I have had these dizzy spells. But only when I lay down and get up, like this morning when I got up, I felt a little dizzy. So I just paced myself, braced myself, and then, you know, moved on slowly before I showered and got my son dressed and showered. But um, anyways, I feel good, y'all. And I was talking to my cousin this morning and um, just and telling her about detoxing and then healing and i have shared with a few people is that a freaking squirrel behind me i hear a squirrel y'all i have told my cousin about it or whatnot but i have told other people that i want to be a holistic health practitioner and that is something that i will go back to school for as far as um to get that certificate so that people who look at more on the, oh, she's not professional. She don't have no, you know, no kind of background or, or schooling or whatnot. But I am going to have a background. So that certificate on holistic health, I will be obtaining that within this year or next year. That's one of my goals. And uh, nobody's going to stop me unless the most high don't want me to get it right now. But it will manifest because this is something that, you know, I'm envisioning. Um, law of attraction. And I'm making steps towards getting it. But as far as me and this experience right now, um, I have to be healthy. In my heart, I have to be healthy in order to consult other people. Now, people come to me and they always ask me, you know, um, how you maintain your skin to be so clear like that? How you lose weight so fast? You know, when I do have the good intentions on losing weight, I put my heart in it and then it's easy. Yeah, it is easy. Um, but it takes dedication. It is a mind thing. Um, I tell people about stress. And believe it or not, when I withdrew this year, I withdrew myself um, from some stressful situations that I was uh, living in or having within my everyday environment that just caused so much stress and distress. And it's mostly because I am a Libra, by the way. October 15th is when I was born, 88. Yeah, that infinity to infinity. But anyhow, um, I thought I'd share that with y'all so y'all know the type of person I am. I'm very much uh, a loving, kind person towards others, and I do my best to make other people happy. And sometimes I neglect my own happiness because I, you know, want to be accepted by everybody because I have a low self-esteem or I've I've been in my entire life, I've had problems with low self-esteem. I don't know if it's because of um, my past relationships with men or or women or just, you know, it's a little insecurity in myself sometimes. So I'm not sure because I always think about how people are going to perceive me. And the thing about that is that I've learned as a 29-year-old woman, I have learned that other people's opinions don't really affect you if you don't allow it. I was going to say other people's opinions don't matter, but I do take heed to some people's opinions that are sound and that resonate with me. If it don't resonate with me, and then, you know, it's out the window. <laughs> but nobody, the reason why I haven't really been posting anything lately is because I'm getting myself together. And I just wanted y'all to know that this right here is a, a spiritual thing that I'm doing and physical, and y'all will see the transformation. 
as soon as I'm done. And then thereafter as well, because it takes more time, you know. Since January 1st, I was 208 pounds, full of toxins, um, full of stress, the cortisol, uh, cortisol hormone that, you know, caused the imbalance and caused me to gain so much weight so fast. I had a food addiction to starches, which was not the good starches, because good starches are vegetables and, you know, I, I went on vegetables like hard like that or fruit. I was on like rice. With, I mean, you know, with vegetables and fruit and stuff like that. But let me tell you, my things was rice and pasta and bread. Those are comfort foods for me and especially potatoes. It's so easy to get potato uh, chips or uh, uh, what is it? French fries. <laughs> it's so easy to get those and even though I would put vinegar on it sometimes to try to cut the fat it wasn't cutting the carbs you know what I'm saying it was cutting some of the grease but it was also too many omega 6s versus me having omega 3 6 and 9 um being even and, and having um balance in my body so I wouldn't have all that inflammation but omega 6 causes a lot of inflammation y'all and I've learned this through uh just Hearing other people speak on YouTube and also researching on my own. But your omega-3s to your omega-6s have to be, pretty much you have to have more omega-3s than omega-6. Omega-6 is uh, not good for us. It's more of the vegetable oil, the canola oil, the stuff that we fry food in. Like, a lot of people don't use olive oil when that's the purest you know, it's pure. It's from the olive. You know what I'm saying? They think, oh, it's called, it's named vegetable oil, so it's from a vegetable, but it's soybean. You know, and they put soybean in a lot of a lot of food products. I was telling somebody um, earlier about um, what is it? Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and along with a lot of other grocery stores that have packaged processed foods, a lot of their ingredients have high fructose corn syrup, which is sugar which is carbs, convert to sugar, by the way. That's why I gained weight so fast. Um, and by the way, now I'm not 208 pounds anymore, no. I am 170 something, and I'm just, you know, releasing. At the end of this, uh, I will share you guys, with you guys, my weight or whatnot, because I am releasing a lot of toxins and I can feel it, and a lot of fat too. But, uh, and I'm not dehydrated. And the reason why I'm not gonna get dehydrated is because of what I told y'all. Uh, the cells eat. Oh no, I don't like these little bugs. Excuse me. Let me get this thing off. A little bug that like to move around that looks like a freaking mold or something on it. Like some algae or something. That's just crazy. Those things are, they freak me out. But anyways, um, oh, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. We gotta do better. What? It says something, it changed the mode or something like that. Oh man, I'm messing up. This is gonna be raw too. I don't even think I wanna edit this video. I'm not gonna edit it at all. I'm just gonna be raw and real with y'all. Oh my goodness, ants. I don't like ants neither. Ants like to bite the heck out of you and I feel it for days, sometimes weeks. I think I'm allergic to the venom of ants. Or well, some ants, like the red fire ants, they are, oh, fire, fire, fire. Um, Y'all just be blessed and continue to, in your life path, in your life journey, and your life experience, you have to live for you. Don't let other people influence you so much that you start altering your belief system and just altering the ways that you are based off of somebody else who you respect but you got to live for you it don't matter how much re respect you have some, for somebody they can't live they can't live life for you um honestly just to each his own you know at the end of the day i know that everybody gonna have a perspective on what i'm doing and why i'm doing this and how i'm doing it oh it's wrong according to you society always gonna try to point out what's wrong with how you living or what's wrong with you but at the, at the end of the day you have to live with you you have to accept you so if you want to change something about you and it does make sense to you and it's sound and then try it out if it's for you it's, and then you'll know it's for you because you'll continue doing it um i had somebody come to me about my locks and, and told me um 
oh, you cut your locks. And I was like, yeah, I cut them. And I'm starting a new with the, the freedom locks, the freeform locks, Yahuru, you know, which means freedom in Swahili. I was just like, uh, freedom, freedom in Swahili. Trying to talk too fast. And I got my new grills and I'm still not used to them too much. Yeah. I walked on the warmth of gold for too long, you know. And I had silver like two years ago, maybe three years ago. I was working with silver and the, and the white gold as well. I have white gold. Like I have some rings that I just purchased that are white gold but not. Ooh, y'all ain't see that because I'm about to do my nails. Anyways, um, I let other people influence me too much, man. That's ultimately what I want to talk about. So I was telling them about my freeform locks and how, you know, I, I'm letting nature take its course and I'm not going to manipulate it as much as I can not manipulate it because it's like, I'm really, be honest with y'all, a few of my locks that have merged together, like super big locks, and it was just like a few um, strands of hair, like connecting them, like webbing them together. I just pulled them apart. And the reason why is because, mm -mm. I'm not going to have like one massive lock. You know, I do want to have locks and I want them to remain, uh, you know, in a, you know, I don't care about it being presentable, but it's just, I felt like they weren't supposed to be together. And it wasn't a feeling. It just, you could see it and be like, nah, you know, it just was kind of obstructing. Whatever. It's my hair. <laughs> I have the freedom, the liberty to separate when I want to. So, but most of them are no separation. And, you know, they taking on their own form. They, I have some locks that are super thick that I'm feeling. And then some locks like that was just, oh man, it was hurting when I put my hand through it or whatnot. Ooh, it was, I had them. <laughs> them little webs of hairs when I do like this I'm talking about like the hairs that are connected to this lot from that lot and it was a little bit of I was like oh no it hurt so bad but let y'all take a look I didn't pushed it back a little bit more to you know just a different style instead of having my bands around my uh my what is this called my na maple no I'm not even sure right now I'm tripping but around my edges I you know, pushed it back a little bit more so I could have more like a, it looks like a ponytail a little bit, just like a big old thick ponytail. But um, my, my locks, they doing well. And the only thing I put on them is rose water. And this is a 17 minute video. So, and I told y'all I'm one the editing, so y'all gonna see me in the row. They're like, oh, this girl is off the chain. Y'all hear the, uh, what do you call uh, cicadas? I think they call cicadas. They be making all that noise in the trees. They rub their legs together just like the crickets. But it's mating season. They calling for their mates. <laughs> they singing their little song. I love to hear birds rather than cicadas. I want to record some music, but it don't look like I'm going to record it right here. So I'm about to get up. And um, and I came out here not only to write music and meditate and do my nails out in the open so I won't smell the, uh, the chemicals that's in the... Uh, the nail polish, just clear nail polish. Clear and black, that's my thing that I like. I don't like to be too complex. Um, but it's me, it resonates with me. Uh, I've said it a couple times, y'all be blessed, y'all be blessed, positive vibrations to y'all. I'm just taking it easy and we're gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know how this eight days gonna go? That's how I embark on this uh, dry fast, releasing all these toxins and all this. The toxins lie within your fat, so all these toxins within my fat, I'm gonna release them. And it's gonna take me a while to start eating solid foods. I'm not just gonna go into solid foods right after I fast. After these eight days of fasting, which is from Sunday, this last Sunday that passed, it's now Tuesday, all the way to Monday. And Monday, I'm going to break my fast like I usually break it at 2 o'clock because I intimate fast. That is my liberty. IF is my liberty. And that's a permanent lifestyle change that I made uh, back in November, late November. Maybe early November, but I'm not sure exactly. I was doing it on and off in October. And now I just said, you know what? I'm going to make
make it a habit, a lifestyle change, something that's a part of me living, um, you know, eat only between the hours of 2 and around 10, 11. But I do stop before around 10 because I got to go to work so early and I don't like sleeping on food. And it's, you know, it's not good. But anyways, um, yeah, it's a 16-hour fast and a eight-hour window of eating. So I'm going to go back and do that on Monday. So I'm going to break my fast at 2 p.m. Monday. And uh, I'm going to definitely do only whole living foods. And that's what I have been doing. But every once in a while, like when I went to the uh, sushi restaurant with my cousin or whatnot, or by myself, because I date myself a lot now that, you know, I'm just uh, living for me and nobody else. Um, of course, for my being an, an example of of somebody who's uh, absolutely in control of their spirit, mind, and body. For my children, my two boys, who I love so dearly, um, I'm still just living for me. I'm living for me now. Um, show them how to live for themselves as well and how to heal ourselves and be the best that they can be at all times when I break my fast I'm definitely not going to uh, indulge in any I believe in balance so every once in a while I have some rice I was about to say the sushi you know the sushi has rice around the sushi and, or sometimes inside of it before they wrap the seaweed. Sometimes they wrap it on the outside of the seaweed. Sometimes they wrap it inside. But um, I will have the, the vegan ones that had the avocados in it as well as the uh, uh, sun-dried tomatoes sometimes. And sometimes it'll have the carrots and asparagus in it. And I love those things. They're good. And it's still raw food. But rice is not raw and it wasn't sprouted as well either so every once in a while if i go out to a sushi bar you know i love my seaweed salads i have my seaweed salad and my um my avocado rolls or whatnot or, and veggie rolls but i'm gonna do definitely do that in moderation because I, I had thought about something while i'm on this fast i'm not really aware of if, if they clean their utensils and 